I'm Mike Strickland, a data center architect in the Programmable Solutions Group at Intel, and I'm joined with Karsten Rohner, the CEO of Swarm64. Karsten, why accelerate relational databases? Relational databases are the workhorses of the IT industry. They're like Excel. Almost 100% of companies are using relational databases. Now companies face real challenges with that because with everything online, the amount of data that's going into the database and also the amount of data that needs to be stored is growing exponentially. So the good old databases are no longer up to it. Instead of changing their entire infrastructure, companies actually can use acceleration to continue to use their skills and their existing infrastructure and cope with the challenges that they are facing in, through the technological development. Okay. I see you're using an FPGA. Did you consider using a GPU? GPUs also have high data throughput. Oh yeah, absolutely, they do. And uh, we have considered using GPUs. Now we are targeting the data center market. And in the data center market, power consumption is a real issue. It's very important. And FPGAs are just so much better than GPUs, which are known to consume a lot of power. The second topic that we are addressing is that the, since the amount of data is exploding, um, data center operators are facing a challenge with storing all of that. We are compressing the data. FPGAs are very good at compressing data. GPUs are not good at that. And lastly, in many applications that we address, real-time constraints are very important. So you have to take the data immediately when it arrives and make it part of the decision making. For GPUs, you first have to format the data and then you shuffle it into the GPU thereafter. They are fast, but this, this takes too much time for, real t for tough real-time requirements. FPGAs don't need that. They are fast and therefore FPGAs are so much better. Got it. What is the effort for your customers to use your solution? It's very low because we are, have wrapped the FPGA in a software layer. So what the customer needs to do is they buy a new piece of hardware, which is the FPGA itself, plugs into a server, they install our software plugin, and with the both combined, they can run the database much faster. Well, how then are you accelerating the database with the FPGA? We are following two f really core principles. One is we are reducing the amount of data that's being shuffled through the system. So we are relieving I.O. bottlenecks, which is very important if you want to increase performance. And secondly, we also unload the CPU from processing, data processing. So part of the query that the database is asking is being processed on the FPGA, and thereby the CPU and the system needs to transfer less data and needs to compute less cycles, so it's faster. Sounds good. Please be a bit more specific. Uh, what is the role of the FPGA? Yeah, the FPGA performs the compression and decompression, as I had said, and also it takes in the data from the database and starts to pull out everything that's not related to the query. So it already reduces the amount of data that the CPU needs to process, and then it takes that reduced number, uh, reduced data set, and it processes it further, so that it already answers part of the query. And then the reduced partially answered query is moved to the CPU, and the CPU does the rest of the work. Excellent. But what are the limitations? You can't possibly be great at everything. Almost everything. <laughs> The limitations are that currently, when it comes to very complex queries, so queries with subqueries, or when it comes to join operations, we do not accelerate as much as we do for more straightforward uh, queries. This is a matter of uh, technological advances as the FPGAs get more powerful in terms of um, they provide uh, more capacity and also the clock speed goes up, we will be able to address those topics too. So over time, as customers upgrade their hardware, we will be able to provide them even more acceleration. Sounds good. And to get these benefits, what do I need to change in my application or database schema? 
in, right out of the box, you don't need to change anything. The interfaces to the application and also to any analytical tools stay identical. That is because our solution plugs into the database, so the upper layers, the outer layers remain unchanged. Out of the box, there is acceleration. Then, as always with new technologies, if you do some optimizations and some adaptation to the technological constraints and to the way it works, then you're getting faster. That is something that the customer will find out over time. So, initially they get an acceleration, then they will find, okay, here we might want a bit more, and then we start adapting schemas. We provide consulting services to customers to help them adapt and then there is even more progress through that. Excellent. Carson, thank you very much yeah, for this great you, information. Man. Yeah, thank you. And thank you for joining us. Yeah.